any other time. Because <laughs> we're all giggling at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents Grimstone, not the Grimstones, the Grand Temple of Jing, Season 1, Episode 4. I am your DM and your host, joined by two thirds of the Ontario crew. How is everyone doing on this fine Friday? I'm like, looking forward to Christmas break. Yep. Work is having like work problems. And we've got like last minute audits and checks and people are getting a little mm. tense and uh, everybody's uh, trying to do their last minute thing. Yep. So yeah. And then I've got HR telling me, oh, you've got too many vacation hours. You're going to take some. So I'm like, all right. And then people are like, I need you in this meeting. And it's like, these are conflicting thoughts. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, um, I'm on. I'm on break. I've been on break this week, and we'll be on break till the new year. So it'll be good. Oh, I, I don't have a picture of it, but I got like nice. a cool Mega Man super boot now. So I've got. I'm very styling. As opposed to just a cast, I've got a, a big plastic booty with Velcro straps, okay. and I'm a. And tomorrow, actually Sunday, I'll be allowed to take a bath. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can smell you from here. <laughs> I don't smell bad, but mostly because I don't do much. Yeah. So mm. if you don't sweat, then like you 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 wash your. Are, are you playing video games? Uh, I so Fallout <laughs> doesn't make me sweat. Mario with the wife. Yeah, I have. I need a, a wipe down afterwards. <laughs> That's stressful, you know, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's well, you get yelled at for you play for two hours. I get yelled at for ninety minutes of it. Oh but, no! Because it's like, and it's hilarious. It makes me laugh because it'll be like, "Why are you going so fast?" And it'll be an auto scroller level. And it's like I can't get just, the screen is moving. I'm not doing anything. I'm not forcing the camera away from you. The camera is just auto scrolling, it's and you have to game. stay on the platform. catch up. <laughs> or the other ones is like she she'll be like, "Why are you going so fast?" And the camera will be on her, and she's running <laughs> like crazy person. <laughs> it's like I'm just waiting for you to die so I get the camera back. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's uh, it's, a it's co-op, fun. Co-op it, game? It, it's yeah, it's it, yeah, local co-op, same screen, old school style Mario. Um, uh, have you have you played the game? It takes two. Uh, yeah. I've played this one. Uh, is that good? Uh, yeah. The uh, my st- my niece came over with it one day. She made me play it. We went about two thirds of the way through the game in maybe two or three sessions. So hmm. yeah, it, it, it's a neat puzzle game. Yeah. It, it's it's got a pretty good story. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, we never yeah. finished it, but we just uh, then there's just the, teenagers oh, are flaky, so you know whatever. There's the oh, what's the one with the French guy? Um, no way out, I think. Um, there's a there's a, a, a two player local co op game about two people escaping prison, where it's like Shawshank Redemption meets like Bad Boys meets. I was proud of myself with this game because some of it took timing and fucking reflexes, and you know, like I don't normally play those games. I it's been mm-hmm. forever since I've played the. Uh, it's like a side scroller, but three D. I'm like, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> platformer, three D platformer, three <laughs> yeah, D platformer. I'm like, uh, no, I was able, I was able to keep up and solve the solve the problems, and you know, it was nice. It was good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been like devastated by my nephews yet in terms of like just get my ass handed to me in a video uh, game it, it was mortal Kombat, um so <laughs> against the 13 year old uh nephew no, he'll kick your ass dude. no he didn't he said he kicked my ass he made a big show of it and then i started playing and i kept on like i found the two moves <laughs> oh, yeah, if, I kept, him to death. if i just kept on doing those two moves i'd defeat him he got so mad so <laughs> mad like and they're trying again with a different character. I'm like, I fiddle around with it. You lose one match. It's like, okay, I think I got it. <laughs> and I use one or two moves. Even if you just get into the death spiral of, oh, you get up and you just, you just, you get in the beat again. And you get in the beat again. <laughs> Stop yep. doing that. I'm like, what? Are, do you want me to not win? Or do you want me to not try? He's like, no, you need I'm to try. I'm you win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, so that's typically called footsies. Yeah. And that just you have better timing and strategy than he does. And you know, which buttons beat his buttons. Yeah. yeah. 
and he does he just needs to learn the response. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you need to read. The, oh, you don't like being tripped, huh? <laughs> Leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep. Oh, and then you throw in an uppercut. He's like, oh like my god. Ryu. Sounds you like Ryu this? right there. You must, play, you must play this game all the time. I'm like, nah, it's the first time. <laughs> well, so for, for Mortal Kombat, the the basic moveset hasn't changed. Yeah. So your your down A, your sweep, yeah. is still, like your down punch and your down heavy kick are still the most broken things in the world because they have so much priority and they cause hard knockdown. So it's like a little, it's just a timing game. It's a rhythm game once you find it. And once you start the rhythm game, unless they do a tech roll, like unless they push the button to stand up quick, it's a rhythm game where as long as you keep your rhythm, they're screwed. <laughs> and what, what's the um, what's the car uh, bouncy ball soccer game called? Um, oh, uh, that would be, oh. Um, I was horrible at this one. Something it, League. A Rocket League. Uh, it took me a while to get the hang of this one. It took me like like a, more than a few games to go. Okay, I'm kind of getting it, you know. <laughs> Rocket League is it, some of not, the coolest. You don't pick that up the first time and go, "I'm awesome with this." No, this is a thing. That <laughs> <laughs> it also has a unique control scheme. Like it's yeah, like it doesn't control. Yeah, it, Rocket League is one where it's like, <clears throat> yeah. No, the the last time I had like. It was my uh, my cousin actually, who's like twelve years younger than me. He came with the like, I'm gonna beat your ass at Goldeneye. That's like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I know you're going through a retro phase. This is the thing you want to try. Because <laughs> for me, full, there's probably a full summer of you playing this well, game. <laughs> well, I never owned the system, but to go to anybody's house to do anything, it was Goldeneye. So it was. Just getting abused by people who owned the game, so you learned the cheapest snack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm mentioning these games because this happened last Christmas when all the whole family was at the house. So I, I imagine uh, this Christmas there will be repeats of of um, uh, of Rocket League and then Mortal Kombat. Like I have a feeling I will be challenged again. So you and might I want haven't to played at Mortal least Kombat learn since the last time I played. Uh, learn the basic combo, like your one, two, three, four. Nah. Learn uh, learn a basic combo. I'll learn it. I'll learn it as I go. It's more satisfying now. Because <laughs> if, if he learns his one, two, three, four, you're screwed. <laughs> sure. Boom! Half your health bar is gone. <laughs> and then I'll go. Great, you beat me. I haven't played this since last time. Let, let's and do, I will stab any. Let's do co-op. No value let's this. do co-op. Uh, fucking Rocket League. You know. <laughs> also, haven't played that since last time. But yeah, yeah. play against some randos on the internet. Anyways, uh, speaking of randos on the internet, let's uh, play some random D and D on the internet. No, let's not do that. Let's play some D and D. Ooh. The worst. That would be the worst. Um. <laughs> oh my god! So, in order to find the in order more. to find the Titans gift crew, we probably I probably met and played with twenty people to get it down to a group of people that. Enjoy each other's company, that work, that we're able to stream. Yeah. <clears throat> we even saw during some of the seasons where person joins and then leaves. You know, like, not yeah. all of them work out for a long period of time. All right, why don't we do a recap of what happened last game? Because I feel like we just chit-chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chit-chat for an hour. Why are we here again? Oh, that's right. Not quite a cat. The party enters the territory of the Nash Teeth Orcs. Granite is strangely enraged at these orcs, perhaps due to his special eye. One of the party members is slain and another is captured. Not mega slain. Ultra Q. <laughs> <laughs> Chim Chim yeah. finds an ancient oracle who is trapped in a temple. Stelios receives a vision from his goddess. Nils treats with the orcish shaman. Urex ambushes a kobold patrol. The party enters the territory of the Lickspit Kobold tribe and receive a gracious welcome. They agree to battle nearby monsters in exchange for food and repairs to their to their armaments. And they're also on a quest to hunt a dragon 
through descriptions, you were able to figure out that it's a pseudo dragon that the um, that the kobolds don't really like, and that might live in this um, uh, in this very fetid chamber. Uh, I'm gonna we're on kobold caverns. Let me force you guys there. Let me buff my character, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> The kobolds raised a block. You guys wandered into it, and it seems like you've wandered into a um, a very humid, pungent, biologically um, uh, heavy domain. There is a carpet of mushrooms and fungus and moss kind of growing along the cavern walls and ceiling. There are, there's the sound of water pouring in from multiple places. There's a humidity to this place that is, might even be unnatural given that it wasn't persistent in the halls just to the south. Mm -hmm. There are, uh, this place is teeming with life. All sorts of insects, moths, um, Creepy crawlies, things slithering here and there. You do notice that there are some very large thoraxed, uh, uh, um, very large beetles with light in their thoraxes that are casting a glow throughout this place. There's also uh, bioluminescent fungi that is illuminating some of the confines of the uh, of the place. As you walk in, uh, the kobolds pull the lever back down, and the block is starting to go back down. Urex, is there a, oh, one sec, is there a lever here? Urex, you notice that there, there looks like there's a compartment where there's a, a lever or where the lever might be, but it's been bricked up. Uh, uh, open this for one second. How are you going to know? Hold on. <clears throat> Old man. <laughs> Old Carbon. <laughs> How are you going to know we're here again? Hmm? Uh, How will we let ourselves back in? So you're trying to have this conversation as the block's going down. <laughs> Hello? One of the kobolds like, is, like, is like following your, like mimicking your motions and then finally waves goodbye to you. <laughs> and the block... I'm going to kill them all. <laughs> <sighs> there are wow. like, a, a big dragonfly uh, uh, buzzes past um, Nils's head. Oh, oh, there's a dude right next to us. Never mind. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, does the kobold come with us or no? No, no. The, oh, this sorry. guy. This. this guy. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Oh, he's not with us. Then I do say that. I'm like, ah, I'm going to have to deal with them. Hmm? Uh, Urex is going to take a look at this bricked up section just to see uh, how the, difficult the, it would be to... The brickwork. Brick. Yeah, the brickwork you see. So you, you give it a good tap. Yep. Uh, I'll do a passive... Uh, um, Perception for you. Yep. And I'll even consider it a trap. Might be, be a way to take it off real quick. Just looking at like a granite or a nils, and I think they have a way to open that up. <laughs> mm. Okay, Urex, you tap on it with your um, um, with your tools. While it, it, it the the bricks are a different consistency of the uh, of the temple walls, mm -hmm. it does seem like it's solid. It doesn't seem like like it's just a, a layer of brick blocking the whole thing. It feels like they packed it all in. Like it doesn't doesn't sound hollow on the other side. Okay. <sighs> it's probably gonna take uh, it's gonna take more than a few minutes to get this out. Probably maybe a half day work. Okay, Stelios, you you marched ahead, and there's something big. That's moving around. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't come toward. Do you guys have light sources or? Um, Chim Chim has. I believe Chim Chim light. cast a light for Stelios and for. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment. We're it's we're just, in a dark it's spot. Just scuttling. 
Uh, it um, it didn't seem to notice you guys. Like when you step forward, it was just kind of following along a path in the vegetation. Uh, you can see Stelios that there is a bit of a pit on this one side, and that there might be some different kinds of beetles in this room. As your eyes adjust uh, to the dim and to the occasional throbbing glow of these uh, of these um, uh, of these light beetles, like it's not a constant light. It's almost like as their biological functions are going, there's like a like a dimmer. Um, nope. um, that's, that's flowing. You do see that they are throughout the chamber. There is something big behind one of these uh, pillars that's moving. And you realize that the entire room is just filled with larger and larger beetles. Uh, mm. Urex is not grossed out by big beetles. Yep. Um, he personally goes, oh, good, we have an infinite food source. <laughs> like, we can live for a long time. A pile of rocks that does not go to the ceiling. Uh, there is a place that looks like it's been packed up with some sort of organic material. It's a slightly different color than like, the rest like of the Like dung world. beetle? It could, it, could be, it could be dung beetle stuff. There's little creepy crawlies and things uh, in it. And then there's some several passageways that lead uh, that lead out. Um, this beetle is wandering a little bit closer to you guys. Um, Nils pulls out his middle. This beetle seems him. to be, um, let me, bow. let me have a look here. This beetle seems to be like there's stuff dripping from its mandibles and the stuff seems to burn through some of the organic material. Oh. <laughs> uh, the other glow beetles are kind of avoiding it. For, for a brief moment, it looked like it was going to go chase one of the glow beetles, but then is now coming along this wall. You guys yeah, all, Nils, you all have Nils. a round to react before it blunders. Interesting. Okay. This looks like bad news. Should we? Should we attack it? He's got his bow already. He's ready, ready to string an attack. It doesn't look mad. Right now, it's just it, it's moving along, but you saw a little yep. bit of the juice come out of its mouth, and it was dripping. It's coming towards us. Uh, well, well, I hit the wall. It's coming along this wall. It's acting like a bug. Okay, yeah. I'm readying to. I'm granite readying. Moves, granite moves behind Stelios. Is it coming this way, or is it going to go to these guys? No, it's. Coming along the wall. Epistemose. <laughs> Stelios oh. is saying something in a language to understand. <laughs> uh, that thing does not look as helpful at all. Icky Mace's boot kind of crunches in through uh, through a big mushroom and into like a little bit of a puddle, and he's he's pulling it out. It's very, it's very wet in here. Yeah. Okay, this beetle then kind of moves along where you guys were. It stops for a moment at this area. It's antennae moving around. I think we're going to go east. Oh, this hey, thing these, might these be are blind. columns that go to the roof. So, um, hmm. yeah, this stag beetle's digging in the dirt. Uh, these glow beetles. This this one agitates a little bit. It, it kind of flares up. Like, it, it, it's, uh, its shell comes out. You realize it might have wings. And it, it yeah. flares a little bit. There's a there's a bunch of fluttering from its uh, uh, from its lit up thorax, and you notice that several nearby uh, beetles also start thrumming at a um, at a higher uh, agitated something. Yeah, yep. you kind of agitate these three these yeah. three beetles. Uh, as long as we're not being attacked by anything, we're going to kind of treat it like a wasp nest, where it's like we are okay to coexist. <laughs> As long as everybody keeps their shit. <laughs> yep. Um, Urex got a 28 on his perception. Urex, you thought you heard a voice um, back in this direction. It said something like, That's it, my pretties. 
Uh, and you heard some like flapping of wings. Like was it Jinglish or was it um, like a, a common? Or... It, it was a common. Okay. So. Uh, and you heard, you heard you heard some like buzzing, like insect, uh, flying insect noises. Yep. Wait, which side? Uh, uh, past past these uh, these exposed rocks in between um, mm. into yeah. like a little cave. I'm just doing a quick. Uh, have we figured out a party language yet, or no? We never actually did that, did we? Um, Your common seem to be working. Yeah, well, this is the thing where other people it also works for. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, I, I guess it's like relatively quietly. There's a prick face over there who's planning on being a prick face. So, uh, oh, what do you mean? I, Move, old man. Nils is pulling him. Okay. <laughs> you too. Hey. Sound advice. Old guy. <laughs> Stelios. <laughs> He's pointing the other direction. Oh, <laughs> like oh, okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> uh, we're gonna head towards the voice of the thing that Urex thinks we can kill and steal its stuff because it's got a voice that's speaking a language <laughs> and sounded creepy. Like, <laughs> all right, you guys are going. Uh, Ikimei is not going first. <laughs> yeah, uh, where Steely He's got his long spear out. There, there are creepy crawly things when you stop for a moment. There's this millipede that it's got to be about almost a foot long that just goes across the the uh, the toe of your boot, um, Nils, and then disappears back into the mushy floor of the place. This, this place is filthy. <laughs> 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 There seems to be water dripping down from various uh, from various places in the ceiling, um, and there's like a whole dense ecosystem. We are in such a precarious position. If we get like, they all decide to attack. Vermin monster, <laughs> yeah. whatever. A vermin, a vermin druid. Okay, we're gonna okay, start. Uh, Nils, you recognize like a military dug pit when you see one. This pit was is not natural it is like a it is like a formerly sprung bush trap um that seems to be blocking off this section of the uh, of the cavern from the other section and you see just beyond it a pile of old furniture and debris there are a couple of globes is this like a hole or something? Yeah, or? it's a hole that's about 20 feet deep. You can't quite tell the depth from where you're standing, but you can see that it goes pretty deep. <laughs> uh, Stelios. And the old furniture looks like like moldering wooden furniture that's been smashed and then piled up. Uh, and then it's, it's covered in what look like termites or maybe even uh, ants. Not sure from this distance, but there's insectoid movement. Stelios is going to detect evil in the direction the Birdman said, because it looks like there's a bunch of rocks, but there's gaps. Okay, 60 feet. Ah, is there, is there a guy with at least five hit dice or a priest undead or... Um... Yep, let me... Let me... We're at a level where like lots of things we would fight wouldn't necessarily qualify just because they're too low level. There is a moderate evil that is coming from that direction. <laughs> Major evil. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Stelios has a grumpy face. And he's pointing in the direction accusedly. <laughs> yep. Uh, coming forth is one of these larger uh, acid drippy beetles. You're pretty sure it's not it. It's just doing its. These beetles seem to like to hug the the walls. Okay, g give me one, give me one second. I need to pull up my dictionary. Stelios is chewing on his words for a second. <laughs> All right, what's everyone else doing? Well, Stelios is. Stay trying to remember me. the four words, you know. Yep. 
Stay away <laughs> from the walls. It looks like these things like to hug them. <laughs> Strong spirit kill here. Okay. Uh, Nils, you can hear that there's something crunching. There's like a... And there's like a, there's like a, every once in a while there's like a, like a, a tapping sound, like a flappy tapping sound. Something's feasting on something else mm. straight through there. Do any of you speak draconic? Mm. Uh, Yes. There's something in a high-pitched voice that said, mm, tasty. Where do you think you're going? Just keep gorging. It's going to be the fattest <laughs> dragon bird you can eat. <laughs> There's this happy tapping noise. Uh, yes, uh, Urex speaks draconic and Nils speaks draconic at a minimum. Okay, there's something in a high-pitched, uh, very small voice. There's the sounds of something crunching, like happily crunching away. And then there's this like repetitive tapping noise. I assume it's eating an insect that's still moving. It's <laughs> possible. So what they do? All yeah, right. It's somewhere beyond the pile of debris. Oh, it's in that. It's in this direction. But. but uh, uh, Stelios is pointing. And he's, he's, he's accusing the, the rocks of this hallway. <laughs> Jacuse. That's it, my pretties. Drink, drink. Well, uh, Urex is Careful. Gonna try that to or tumble past this spider thing, just in case, because they seem a little bit more... The it, it will keep moving. Wait for it. Does it stop, or does it keep going? Uh, it, it, it is kind of like mm, trying to figure out if it's going to navigate the uh, um, the pit, but ends up skirting a, uh, across the edge of the pit. Okay, we're going to okay. hop over? Yeah, the, these glow beetles are... They, they flutter away from you. They, they seem to just be content to... These are all these gold beetles are pulsing though at this point in time with your proximity. Oh yeah. Um, it appears we have visitors. Celio's ah. <laughs> <laughs> still pointing his <laughs> ear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, uh, Chim Chim is casting a, a light. Do you want some light? Hmm? Uh, do we have light here? Uh, I believe you prepped two of them. Urex, you're no, able, I to, do, you're I able do. to jump 10 feet, yes. no problem? Yeah. Okay, Urex, <laughs> he lets out his wings a little bit, he floats down near the pile of old debris and furniture. Uh, your eyes, are, do you have dark vision or low light? I got low light. Uh, let's see, Chim Chim's 40 feet of light, which would be doubled. Yeah, you, you can see dimly in the uh, in the chambers. That there is inside what looks like the wreckage of a uh, um, like a, stro a baby stroller. <laughs> nope. There's this little tiny little itty bitty uh, dragon with the size of a cat, and it looks like it's picking up with one of its front claws, like a like a beetle, like a tiny beetle, and chucking it into its mouth. And, and, and happily eating it. And its tail, you can see, its tail comes out into like a flat, like spade shape. And it happily, like, th is thumping against, uh, it, thumping against the wood. Yeah. It's doing the earthworm thing where you like, yeah. you, you tap the, the ground to make the earthworms come out thinking it's raining. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's eating beetles that might have infested this, uh, this old, this old, uh, uh thing. Mm -hmm. It, it looks up at you. You, you. you make eye contact. Uh, hi. <laughs> and I think she's going to try to hide. 
<laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's see. This is not a forest. Okay. It disappears around back of the furniture. 43. Huh. <laughs> uh, in Draconic, we go hello. Do you want a friend? We've got a variety of people who could be your friend over here. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> okay. You notice its head peeks above a little piece of wood in a completely different area. Like you were, you were looking at, yeah, like you were looking at where it disappeared, and it was like about ten feet over. The thing is stealthy. You were sent by the kobolds, weren't you? You dragon hunters? Hmm? It says in an accusational way. You notice its tail now is flipped up around it, and that the flappy part has protruded a spike, and the spike is glistening? No, no, no. Not dragon hunters. Simply new to the whole palace jing thing. Palace? What palace? This dungeon thing? It's about sculptures and things. Pretty much a palace. Mm. Okay, it, it, give me a charisma check? I don't know if you can I have a... I can't even remember. Uh, yeah, it's plus two. I'm, no. I'm supposed to be able to... Like, I'm supposed to be a translator. I can't be butt ugly in the corner. Going, <laughs> well, you can just translate documents and let you, the rest of your family do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. 13, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, it's now sitting on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, original piece of wood. It picks up another beetle. It looks like it's been gorging or it's mealtime or something. It happily oh. snacks down a beetle. Are, are, there any, are there any beetles on this piece of the furniture pile? Oh, the furniture pile is a, um, it's wood, so yeah, there are all sorts of insects that are on this furniture pile. Okay, we'll pick up an insect and eat it. Okay. Uh, it was a very, it's a little tart for you. It was a very plump looking ant. Would have been better with some jelly. <laughs> oh, no, no, the ants are, the ants are terrible, terrible taste. They'll give you a bellyache. These beetles are great. Uh, you notice that it it snatches up one and flies to the end of the garbage pile. It walks okay. ginger, gingerly across it and offers you a beetle. Rex will oh, there you are. and we'll, we'll fire it down. Okay, uh, the the beetle tastes much better than the ant did. It sits there happily. It thumps its tail a few times. The spine is no longer out. It kind of went back, folded back into the. Uh, uh, into the flappy part of the, uh, the so tail. much better than a tomato you wouldn't believe. <laughs> are you are you trapped here too? In a sense, in a sense that I can't leave. <laughs> um, I am Urex. Who are you? Cobbles have been have been trying to hunt me for a long time. They always fail. They forget that there's awful beetles in here, big ones. You gotta stay away from the big ones. Yeah, so far we've been leaving them alone, but there's... Who's the bumbly guy? <laughs> mm, bad news. Stay away from him. Will he stay away from us? Uh, don't tell him I've been eating his beetles. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, uh... Is there somebody there? Kill you so much. <laughs> this is gonna kill my people. The rest of the guys here, while Urex is making friends with uh, something like that, oh. you get an arrow to the throat. <laughs> That's the um, the ghast voice. I think it's the ghast, which is the one with the big quiet, purple tongue. Quiet, quiet, <laughs> quiet. You may have fresh things to drink. Hello. 
Oh, hello! What? Who's there? <laughs> what faction are you? Faction? Yeah, yeah. Old man. We're not uh, factions. Hmm. I mean, that day still at Coastal Sauce. Hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Unseen Mother Father, yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is my father over here. <laughs> okay, there is, uh, as you approach with your light, you can see that there is a man, you think, uh, that is covered in what look like sturges that are drinking out of his body. Need a word for evil. I need a word for oh my god. Damn, boy. You've got bug parts coming out of your face. <laughs> uh, these things are greedily, they've got their proboscis stuck into various parts of his body, and you can see them greedily drinking, and it doesn't seem to be bothering him. How small do you have to be to fit through this pile of nonsense? Uh, it's it's difficult terrain unless you've somehow like have jumped on top of, or jumping on top of it. Okay, He's so medium, doesn't medium creatures point. can just move through at double difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, uh, which faction are you? Hmm? Oh, don't be. We, we're, we're not with any faction. <laughs> Stelios <laughs> doesn't have a polite posture. <laughs> don't. Don't be so hasty. As long as they are fed, they will not. He pulls one of them out and sort of shuffled it, shuffled it along, and you notice that quickly one of the one of the sturges from the ceiling lands in a similar spot. It, it crawls around and he guides it to like to under his rib, and it sticks its proboscis in and starts drinking. As long as they are fed, they will not bother you so much. Uh, knowledge, any goddamn thing. <laughs> I, I think it's here. knowledge, religion for the man, Open the but door. Open the it doesn't door. make sense. And, uh, and, and, uh, give me ahead. a knowledge, religion, maybe. Okay. Uh, a knowledge, nature. All I got's religion. Twenty-two. He does have some. He's nearly naked. But he does have some bug parts, and it's not quite clear that he's fully, how should we say, a man. Like, there are parts missing. Yeah. Um, he's got tendrils coming out of his face. Uh, you do know, you do see that he has some sort of brand on him, however. Hmm. And... 22, you're pretty sure the brand is of something evil. <laughs> the, the aggressive posture continues to be aggressive <laughs> and jacuzzatory. <laughs> yeah. Something that is wrong. Something that would be forbidden in your culture. Like, like the, the pantheon of gods would, would all decide this is yeah. no. And then knowledge nature, uh, Chim Chim. Yeah. Grand dance here. Okay. Mm. Yep. Rolling like a champ. Eleven. Uh, he might be a druid. Um, some some kind of. Strange offshoot of a druid. He will, he will say greet greet greetings in uh, druidic. Ah, yes, it is a fine day to feast upon a corpse. Uh, this is Nils Nils Nature, fourteen. Um, Nils, you were warned that. Druids who hang out in the um, in the world wound become corrupted, just like nature does, from the abyss. 
and that they have strange powers, and you're worried that this might be one of them. Careful, this might be a corrupt druid. I didn't quite hear you. Yeah, he whispered that one. <laughs> uh, and he pulls this long millipede out of his ear, and he puts it onto his... Ah, we go. Puts it onto his body, and the millipede curls around his arm and disappears somewhere. And dance. <laughs> Point. <laughs> what faction are you? No. We did not come with a faction. Um, we are here as Jing's uh, guests. Guests, oh, yes, yes, honored guests. Ah, he, he, he bows. There's almost something mocking about the bow. Especially the Helios. Eternal <laughs> kill. Yeah. <laughs> I am Cragen de Crawl. I manage the greater beings in this place. Scroll. This is Icky Mixer. <laughs> Just sort of dumbfounded. <laughs> I don't have any word to describe Bugger. Um, <laughs> no. Only the no. only the, the the druid guy was yeah. registering. Yeah. A couple of the stag beetles there seem to be done what they're doing, and Granite gives gives uh, Icky Mixer a nudge. Uh, these glow beetles of Slowly been moving away from you guys. The, the, this blister beetle is now just on a trek on the internal part of the uh, the room where the pseudo dragon was. You have to be very careful about him. Yeah, it'd be a shame for one of them to die. <laughs> um, he really likes bugs. What is your name, friend? Hmm? Uh, Urex. Urex. I am Zilch. Zilch? Hmm. Yes, I am nothing. What makes you nothing? Uh, and if you become more than nothing, does the name no longer apply? You become something? No. I... I'm the only dragon I've ever seen. That means they're the strongest one you've ever seen. Oh, uh, beetles are very tasty. I have to keep up my strength to hide. But I, but I am so small compared to the great stories of Bahamut and Tiamat. And I am Conipsis. Hmm. So you're a religious sort. Uh, dragons. Dragons are big. Biggest things. Bigger you are, more important. The earth is just so small. Yeah, size is overrated. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it, it, it seems happy to hear, to hear that. Hmm. It's thinking about that a little bit. Think about how many beetles a big dragon would have to eat. <laughs> Lots more than they would eat the big ones out there. Mm -hmm. Only a few of them. Mm. Uh, that crazy man doesn't like you eating his beetles. He's warned me several times. But I'm good at hiding. If Will the crazy man come back if we kill him? I don't know. Would you be upset if we killed the crazy man? Me? No. Yeah. He's scary. He controls the he controls the bucks. 
So what other factions he's talking about? I don't know. Oh, there's a big uh, bear owl thing over there that eats the bugs. It's you. Listening, uh, putting kid to bed. Some, yeah. other visit, some other visitors, I didn't talk to them because they didn't see me. And they got it. Oh. By the bear owl or by the bugs? Ah, uh, well, one before the other. And they didn't come back. Hmm. No one come back after they die. It's not how it work. That's how it works for me. Huh. Are you a priest? Uh, no. I am a visitor, a guest, a something. Oh, you got a priest friend. Very important. They bring you back. Your god, your god think you're special? Hmm? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, you didn't, how did you get here? I woke up one day. I was no longer in my crutch. Hmm. And I was here. And Have you the seen? The cobalt saw me, and they tried to get me. You seen the rest of this place, or only this area? The rest of what place? No, no, cobalt keep the door closed. There's Have lots of them in there. It's hard to hide with lots. Have you seen beyond the cobalt? What's beyond the cobalt? All the food is here. Food and water and the tasty beetles are here. Treasure behind the cobalt. The what? The what? Treasure. Oh, like the other thing that makes dragons dragon. Hmm. Many stories. Her dragons have in big hordes. Zilch never think he have. She have um. Many. No, Zilch too too small to have hoard. What's more important, the size of the dragon or the hoard of the dragon? <laughs> Oh. oh, is this a trick question? I know what my answer is. <laughs> mm. There are probably ways to make you look big. Being big is overrated. If you could hide. Being rich isn't. <laughs> hide the horde. Hmm. Ah, you have the heart of Tiamat. She is the goddess of greed. Sure. <laughs> just just uh, looking out for number one. Urex of Tiamat. Close enough. Hmm. He, like, uh, the god he worshipped is, is of disguise, trickery, and theft. Yeah. Close enough. Like, it's... <laughs> he was to see that as an insult. Ah. We've got a we got a whole number out there trying not to, to die it, in this it, place. I hear them. Let us see if you don't die. If you don't die, you should come along. And if we do die, we'll be back in a day or two anyway. Uh, which one do you think is going to die first? I mean, well, second. But um, if you keep on making noise like that, the Albert is going to come, and then the big beetles get all uppity, and then the and then the, the crazy man will control the bucks. You're in a lot of danger right now. Yep, they're all just standing there right in the middle of the open. <laughs> the guy in the armor can jump over the pit. <laughs> okay, the stag beetles are starting to move suspiciously. They, they, they lurch and then move into place facing you and just stop, like, doing their activities. Uh, Krajan may have, one of his little mandibles may have moved. Okay. Uh, well, here's the thing. Stelios isn't preventing diplomacy, and he's not trying to engage in violence, but the second he gets the sense that things are happening, he's engaging in violence. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> does he see the, the bugs? So basically, does he under... Well, it's, he doesn't have any ranks of knowledge of nature, so does he understand the bugs are moving at the hest of the guy? Uh, sense motive for bugs. Normally, it would be DC 20. 
it was in disguise to be DC 16, and they're big. So DC 12 sense motive to notice that the bugs are ensorcelled. The bugs are... <laughs> At least the, the two big ones are. Manipulated. The one thing that would be terrible here is a vermin druid. What's behind the thing? A vermin druid. Now he's in fix with this creepy cat pulling bugs out of his ears. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the medium evil or whatever. The, the moderate evil. Yeah, the moderate evil. <laughs> the moderate evil is here. It's like, no, 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 this is the thing. Uh, another scourge exchanged its spot after it was full. Like, he's feeding them blood. And Adam knows how sturges work. I don't know if he knows how sturges work, but he shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> don't do that, kid. Oh, kids at home. Don't do this. <laughs> no, don't just let sturges drink. Um, so, uh, my favorite little pets are hungry. Um, this is where we are going, hey, I'm Alice, you guys want to go play with the stick? Yeah. <laughs> Rex is kind of just watching to see what happens. <laughs> He's over there making friends. He's over there making friends. Rex will position himself so that he can do like the run and hop, like get enough yep. distance to to jump over in one move. But Okay, you notice that Zilch is like mimicking your movement. Zilch has wings. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the wings. Jim Jim. <laughs> Don't stand there, Jim Jim. <laughs> Anywhere but right there, Jim Jim. Why? What's wrong with there? <laughs> he's he's going to get full of it. He's like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's it's this. Uh, I, I think it's like I think we're we're likely engaging in initiative, but uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll add some things to the yeah because I think at a minimum we're going to kill his bugs on this side of the of the thing and see if he comes across. All right, so we've got the uh, the giant stag beetles. I don't know if I want a one v one. Moderately evil druid man. It's <laughs> gonna be a problem. <laughs> Blister beetles. Oh, covered in goo. It's gonna look like Starship Troopers. <laughs> oh, my leg! <laughs> fire beetles aren't really um, combative. I will add something weird the owl bear. Yep. Aren't you gonna tell about the owlbear? Eh, let him find out. <laughs> uh, stag beetles. How fast are they? Zero. Yeah. And then what else do we have? We have. Oh, Sturgis. They're all full. It's fine. <laughs> we talked long enough. All of them drank. <laughs> uh, uh, I've, been, I've been playing Fallout, and in one section, they've got basically Sturges that once they've finished drinking from you, they get this massive combat buff. <laughs> it's like, oh no! <laughs> Why? Just go away and make babies like a giant potato. <laughs> Oh, and Zilch will go. Zilch. Zilch might be able to help. Zilch, I think, has... You notice Zilch, like, as Zilch was getting ready... Zilch actually whispered over her own shoulder. Not now. Zilch a witch? <laughs> awesome. There, there was something about stop that. <laughs> I don't think it's talking, talking to itself. 
It's, it might be an oracle. That's cool too. It's got a curse. Oh no! He <laughs> <laughs> starts having fights with his mother-in-law every, <laughs> during combat. <laughs> Pranked is minus four on initiative checks. Furthermore, whenever you attempt to retrieve a stored item, there's a twenty-five percent. It's in the wrong. Yeah, it's just gone. Yeah, we'll find it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, it's actually not too bad of a... It's not the worst. Uh, minus four initiative sucks. Zilch has got a pretty good dex. Uh, the, the creature is an excellent creature to build a character on top of. And it's like, oh, you've got a curse that you can pay, pay off with a feat. It's not so bad. Hmm. Now, if you were an alchemist where you have to pull things out constantly, it's 20% just screw up on all of your abilities. That's a problem. Yeah, you may not want that. Uh, let me roll random numbers. Nice. Because your guys might go first. <laughs> oh, party rolled pretty well. Let's see. Orcs are not here. There's no All right. kobolds. Here's where we learned that <laughs> stag people beaks are great actors. <laughs> <laughs> Urex, you're the first to go. Uh, we are delaying. Let's see what happens. Okay. Granite? Does, does Granite realize that we're being... Like, those bugs are now combative, basically. Yeah, he, he's... The, the bugs are not... They're gonna come at us. That's what he says. Okay. It's... <laughs> do what you're gonna do. <laughs> Then we're gonna. Granite. Um, Granite's got his quarter staff in hand. He is going to. Um, the, ready to attack. The the crazy druid has started moving the the giant beetles again. Yeah, I've been listening. Okay. I exactly. Yeah, Lemmy, who's been some, who summoned Sturges like crazy, knows exactly what they do. How is he doing this? I have no idea. Bugs will get you all. It's what Jing forgets. You notice that mm -hmm. Krajin's now looking at the ceiling like he's ready to be, like he's afraid of something on the ceiling. Dog did that did Yes, yes. Bugs for your bug holes. There's mm. worse war cries out there. <laughs> Rex is just, you know, it's not the silliest thing I've heard. Okay, uh, this round he has three actions. He pulls the, the fattened surges, surges from his body. Does Jim Chim, does Jim Chim, uh, shouldn't he have gone? Uh, nope. Nils, what are you doing? Perception, that's not a combat cheat. There we go. <laughs> Nils. Um, hey, is, buddy. um, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna open up on this guy. Um, let's remember, <laughs> let's remember how this goddamn thing works. You put your arm over Jim Jim's shoulder to stabilize. Stand still, old man. <laughs> now, question, um... Can these rocks that are in between, are they cover? Uh, he is kind of standing up on one of the rocks, so if he hopped down behind them, there would be, but... Okay, let's shoot uh, his ass. He's currently showing us his bug doodle <laughs> on top of a rock. Okay, I'm not... He's he's out... Can I five-foot step? He's within 30. Yep. That's a free. Uh, assuming you had your bow in hand, because... Yeah, he, he did say he had a bow out when he yeah. heard creepy voices. So I'm going to fool around this guy. They're all very weird looking. This is Zilch. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is popping the beetle in. <laughs> You're friends with all of them? Uh, yeah, I've known for a couple days. A couple days? Oh, we just got here. <laughs> oh. And the kobolds? The kobolds hired you, didn't they? Hmm. 
<sighs> the last group that came through here, I don't know, that was days and days and days ago. <clears throat> they were muttering about hunting a dragon. And since I'm the only dragon around here, one would surmise that they were trying to hunt me. Well, yeah, so they want okay. you gone. And we're just interpreting that as we make a friend, you come with us, we get you treasure, uh, you help sneak around and stab people in the back. Does a 14 hit him? Huh. Oh, mother... 14. <laughs> 14 uh, he's got an AC of 20. His flat-footed oh, AC is... He pulled out Sturges. Oh, yeah, he, he went. Yeah, he knew that was going on. He, he ducked that arrow. Oh, so it's so it's an he, he would not have missed. Yeah, that's right. the the other The other arrow went went flying very close to his his head and his sturges when he popped back up, mm -hmm. smiling at you. His little antennae are twitching. Two arrows. Stag, stag beetles are now blundering in. Uh -oh. <laughs> They're very powerful for their size. And these ones are really big. <laughs> so that's scary. <laughs> They're going to roll you up in a big boot ball. Okay, so this first stag beetle uh, is looks like it's just going to plow through you guys, like do a trample maneuver. Okay. Uh, so first, Granite gets his ready to action uh, when, it, when it approaches. Granite's going to two-hand his quarterstaff into the Top of the stag beetle. Uh, plus nine. Where is my initiative? Or where my AC twenty six? Work. I think he just cracked the carapace of the stag beetle. Oh yeah. Kill it. Squish it. Stop it. We have old men here. One d six plus nine is eleven damage. Come on, stag beetle. The stag beetle is not bloodied. Well, that's not good as stuff it did. Okay, I think with trample, uh, you guys get to take an AOO as it enters your squares, or you get a reflex save, not both. Hmm. Um, so. Reflex save. <laughs> does it get everybody? No, this, this first movement is um, it's going through uh, uh, Icky Macer and Granite. Okay. Does um, Chim Chim get to get an AOL? There should uh, be a movement AOL for that step. Yeah. Yeah. Has Chim Chim gone yet? No. Has Chim Chim have a melee weapon? Does Chim Chim have combat reflexes? Staff. If Chim Chim has combat reflexes. I will be shocked. No. Chim Chim <laughs> does not have. Uh, he would have got an AOL, but he didn't go yet. So. so yeah. Does have combat reflexes, so we only can make a reflex save. All right, Icky Macer will make the reflex save, or try to. The DC is 17. He's got a plus one. Oh, no. He's getting run over. Um, Granite is not is going to take the AOO. Crit it, destroy it, smash it with the big stick. AC 25, oh. he hits it again. Go, get him. For 15 damage. Smack his ass! ass. <laughs> Smack his ass! Uh, 26, it's bloodied now. There we go. And then I failed the, the reflex save, so it tramples the two of them for 10 damage. And I think they're prone, but let me check. Nope, they're not prone, they're just run over. Okay, yeah. the trampling continues. Chim Chim Stelios. Uh, I don't have combat expertise yet. Okay. So all Chim I got Chim. is a reflex save? Chim Chim's yep. doing a reflex save. Yep. Chim Chim man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, Stelios is... What's, what's the DC? 17. Oh, okay. So roll the 17, huh? 
<laughs> uh, 22 for Skelios. Okay. Yeah, Jim, Jim. He's like, ah, he just falls <laughs> over like an old man. Is. So, I think we, <laughs> so you guys take half damage at five? I think we take half, yeah, yeah. All right, that was good. And I'll then, take five. And then Nils. You can, you, can see, you can see Krajan, his one little tentacle is sort of like commanding it as, as it's rolling through the party. Yeah, so Nils does not have, he has his bow out still. So he cannot take a, um, can attack, he cannot attack it. Unfortunately, he's going to take a, a reflex save. Yeah, and I think the bug needs to have enough movement to get to an open space because it's not big enough to occupy. Yep, it ends up there. It basically barreled through the party and thrashed you guys yeah, around. You know, it's trying to be a wall between yep. it and the, and the bug. Uh, it's re it's there, there's part of its carapace and one of its uh, uh, one of its big mandibles at the front is crushed a little bit from from granite hitting it. Um, but granite took ten, Ooh. and Icky Mesa took ten. Yeah, Jim Jim took five. All right, second stag beetle just wanders up to granite and is going to attack him with the mandibles. Okay, and they the stag beetles are like big, large, short. They are uh, only have five feet reach. Yeah. These these big mandibles are kind of stiff, and they're just being uh, uh, tusks. Yeah, almost like tusks uh, swaying back and forth. Not twenty on granite. Oh, fuck. Granite has this particular method of getting his ass kicked that is Guys, remember mistakable. We have powers. Let's use them. See what they are. This is a good time to use them. Okay, I'll check granite's power on his item. To not he, get critted. He, he, he could stay up late without penalty to watch. Hmm. Nope. Um, <laughs> okay. He doesn't wear. Well, he wears monk battle robes, so AC one, so he could reduce the damage by. Well, one. he could use a con check, or he could use, use a con, con check to reduce it by two. But let's see if it's a crit first. It is a crit. AC twenty six to confirm. Ooh. Uh, his AC is eighteen. Oh. Ooh. So crit damage is four d eight plus. 12 minus 2. 25 damage. He did. <laughs> but, oh my god, he's probably a conscience. <laughs> he took 10 already. Uh, yeah. He is at minus 15. His con is 14. Uh, he's impaled uh, on one of the end of the... Uh, uh, the stag beetle. Uh, We're in session three, and he has two pounds. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> oh fuck. He, he's basically on the end of, of one of the big mandible tusks of the beetle, just impaled. He, he like impaled from behind because he was attacking that beetle as it was yep. going by, and then yep. <laughs> the thing he gets lifted up the ground. His 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 uh uh, uh his staff drops, and he's just being. Kind of battered around. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Silchin, <laughs> Silchin's now. Don't worry, he'll be back. <laughs> no, I don't think he's coming back from that. Sorry. No, no, he'll disappear in a second. <laughs> Bug holes. Let us see if you are. Who you say you are. Let us see if you are truly his guests. <laughs> if not, your corpse is mine. Your corpse is ours. Give uh, a second. Helios. <laughs> Stab the shit out of the beetle that's in front of me. <laughs> okay. Ah! Bumped into me. Yeah, it, it's it like burrowed. It, it, Trample through your party. It's now awkwardly turning and around. Helios votes yes. <laughs> you vote yes on bringing back credit. Okay. <laughs> now, his body hasn't disappeared yet. So. <laughs> Still voting yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, 
There's something about democracy that Steele was talking Steel about. Steele <laughs> likes the idea of, <laughs> I have an opinion. My opinion is yes. <laughs> uh, hey, we're going to stab this thing. You're a landowner. You get a vote. Exactly. I'm important. I got land. Oh, you read too bad. <laughs> Do you? I have one coming. It's called Very Haste. Uh, AC 22. Yeah, there's a satisfying crack as you um, uh, um, as you plunge your spear into this thing. Okay. Uh, you get through its carapace. There's all sorts of insectoid juice underneath. Seven damage. Okay. Um, it's dumb. It, let's see, its natural armor is plus eight, and its con is plus two. I think it's just going to absorb the, uh, with the con. So 31 damage on this beetle. It's very hurt. I'll attack it again. Okay. Ah! AC 11. AC 11, no, AC 17. So what you're looking for? Uh, and we will aid Nils. Okay, AC 10. It's actually hard to do. I roll a 10, it's AC 5. We don't actually aid Nils. No, you're, you're trying to avoid the big lumbering uh, uh, beast. <laughs> Crazy is just clapping. A bunch, of, a bunch of Greek comes out. <laughs> Some more beetles where they came from. Um, Icky man. Uh, uh, Urex will take his delay at okay. any point. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Icky is at the same pip as uh, Stelios. Uh, Stelios, yeah. Okay. Oh. That looks like they need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Two zilch. Yeah, let's see what Icky Mace are going to do. Icky Mace, ha! Ah, he's got... Oh. Uh, how many spells? He has first level spells left. His shield went down when he went into the Kobold Lair. His shield is no longer up, but his mage armor is still running. No, his mage armor is not still running. He would have put it up before going into this place. So he's cast two of his daily mage armors. Okay, that's captured. Um, does he want to produce flame at 1d6 plus 4 or a ray of fire at 1d4 plus 2? I think he's going to do the produce flame. Sounds better. And he's going to fire it at the backside of the giant beetle for the first shot of the round. AC 15 touch hits the beetle. They don't like the fire. Yeah, touch AC 9. Four. One, what did I say? 1d6 plus 4. 7 damage on the beetle. Same as the spear. The beetle is... Might not be able to take a, a single spear or a single spell. Uh, Ikimace is going to 5 foot step this way. And I'm away from this big stag beetle. Uh, and he's wielding his wielding his wielding uh, his spear. Uh, Urex. Okay, uh, Urex is going to Not run and hop across. Stop it! <laughs> Zilch, you're pretty sure Zilch's <laughs> tail kind of extended? Like there was something... Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Somebody yoked his tail? Like, yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, Urex goes fluttering over with big blade in hand. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we're going full on anime mode. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> chop the thing. Um, AC twenty five critical threat. Yeah, your your blade cuts into its underbelly. AC twelve. I don't believe is a critical hit. No. Um, and then it's oh, that was actually AC thirteen. Um, because I am bad at math. Uh, I should actually write these out properly. Yeah. Uh, 1d8 plus, uh, so it's not flat-footed. I don't have a flank. Um, but I do get my, my bamouge. 14 damage. Uh, 14 <laughs> damage opens up the side of the beetle. There's all sorts of guts and things that come out, and it is now incapacitated. Okay, and we will, uh, we move attacks, we've got a swift and a... This glow beetle's just, like, strobing at this point in time. <laughs> disco, disco tech! <laughs> <laughs> do we run and jump back across the pit? No, we don't do that. We should, though. Last time I went and tried to protect the old men, I got friggin' <laughs> murdered for it. Uh, we are going to actually. We're going to set this up. So we're going to try to position ourselves for a flank next round. Okay. Um, you hear a loud bird-like chirping noise from way back here somewhere. <laughs> Please be slow. <laughs> oh, God! Chim Chim? I'm just going to cast haste. Haste <laughs> with, your, uh, with your item? Yep. What, is, what is your special item? The special one, item is the wondrous spoon. Okay, so Chim Chim holds up his spoon. There's tomato soup for everyone! And... He's like he's like he's like sprays it around, and when you're hit with the tomato soup paste that flies out of it magically, <laughs> you're invigorated. <laughs> and uh, did we talk about what personality is inhabiting your spoon? Yeah, it is my uh, oh wait. ego. I don't think we did. So how does haste work in this system? Is it just an extra action or? What are we doing with that? That's a good question. Um, I, I thought we had like three levels to think about. <laughs> Which are haste, mother. Supplies. <laughs> um, I'm glad I have to decide it. <laughs> Although I think it's going to be what? Three round haste? Two round haste? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or would it be a, yeah, like five, like a minimum? No, um, oh, it's a three-round haste. Oh, it's a two-round haste. Two-round haste. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> hey, man. It's, like that. it's still awesome. I didn't write down... Uh, I wrote down some of the personalities. I did not write down the personality for... Um, Chim Chim. <laughs> I don't remember it, so... I don't know if it was said or not. His personal item was a spoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, could be his his uh, his. Box his, isn't here to help. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It could be <laughs> oh, box of the great forest. It could Please be, tell me the shit I forgot. Could be his first uh, a, a animal companion, which was a tomato tree that was animate. So it, is it the is it, is it the little tomato uh, leshy that that you love? Yeah, I was thinking something like that. Yeah. Personality. I'm going to put down tomato spirit. <laughs> the great tomato <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> the tomato smiles upon us all. <laughs> oh, it's the tomato moon. <laughs> oh. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, everyone's hasted within 30 feet. Urex, you're close enough. Uh, Zilch is not. And granted, unfortunately. Now, does it follow all the rules of haste? What do you mean? Well, I think he has to pick two. Oh, it's one per level. Yes. Yes. No, normally, this never matters you because are when not you get high enough level. You are, you are second level. <laughs> you are so undercasting uh, haste. So it's going to be Stelios and, uh, and Nils. And Nils that get hasted? Okay. Yeah, two big guys. All right. Uh, haste. Uh, let's try in this system. Haste gives you an extra attack at your highest base attack bonus. Okay, so you it's a you get a full big ass attack. Cool. Yep. <clears throat> and then the extra speed and the plus one, the reflex and AC still. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Cool. Okay, someone is doing something bad to their mic. Is that you, that Adam? Was, when you were moving? Uh, okay. That was probably me. My laptop slid across the okay. surface. Okay. Bad. Bad for you. <laughs> uh, Chim Chim, cast haste. You still have an action. Well, this is pretty much spot to be in. <laughs> He's going to stand on this side. He's going to move to the side here. Hey, you're an uh, elf. Uh, you're a little voice. Hey, you're an elf. I'd love to have this conversation. It's not now, though. Have a Did little you make a DC 10 point. acrobatics check or no? Just walking here? Um, I'm wondering if I should start summoning, but this beetle is facing right at your party. Yeah, I think Chim Chim's gonna go over here, kind of hug the wall, <laughs> kind of hug hug the wall. So yeah, he makes it. <laughs> He's kind of pushing you by. He's got his spear in his hand. Uh, okay, uh, Sturges. There's one Sturge that wasn't fed, and it's gonna come to feed. They fly at forty. There's one move to there. It's a horrific looking thing. And then it flies up to... Uh, let's see. One is Nils, two is Stelios. One at Nils. Okay, Nils. Uh, does Stelios get an AOO? It does fly by Stelios. Does Stelios have any AOs left? He hasn't he, used one. He hasn't okay. used one yet. Yeah, the, as the thing is coming in, it looks like it's going to, oh, it must be all your armor because it, it, it finds Nils. <laughs> yep. AC 8. No. It, it just, it, it he just looks, it he just looks at you like, Re really? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a fat mosquito that you're trying to spear. <laughs> he missed. I need, I need a tennis it's racket. Like, Go kill mosquitoes. Use your fork. <laughs> Use your fork for <laughs> uh, And then Nils, it does incur an AOO from you as it's as it's entering your square. I have a bow. Okay. It's no good. Oh, I still think I to try you. to. Uh, this is a touch AC. It's a touch. Yeah, let's check Nils. AC 14. It's crawling around trying to stick. Oh, uh, I don't somewhere. think so. Give me a sec. Should be should be a no right there. 14 is rough. Mm. Yeah, that's a no, dude. Uh, you don't hit. Uh, is this a touch AC? Yeah. Um, touch AC. So 10, 3 is dex. So 13. So it is now attached to you. It's it's now on your shoulder, and it's proboscis. Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> it, it it felt really numb for a moment, and you felt you felt your flesh pinch, but um, uh, there was like no pain. Yeah, and its little its little legs have latched onto your shoulder, like they all kind of clinked into place. A sturge drains blood at the end of its turn if it's attached to a foe. 
It is now drinking. You take one con damage. Okay. Zilch. What can Zilch do? Eat those fucking things. <laughs> yeah, it probably can. <laughs> uh, Zilch's bard song. Uh, wait. Uh, does uh, it, haste provide AC as well or not? Plus one Plus AC. One. AC. Makes it 14, which is a problem. 14. 15. Okay, there's a tipping tap okay. of there's like a ket, there's a catchy beat of, of like the tapping of, of the tail of the little dragon. <laughs> it's basically bard song. it's doing drumming. You guys have a plus one uh, bard song going. Nice. Very nice. I think that's a standard for Zilch at this level. Yep. And Zilch is going to come out and try to help. Uh, Zilch flies at sixty. Wow! Wow! Zilch, we'll Zilch, <laughs> Zilch lands on on Urex's shoulder. Uh, the ding was like digging off your your sword or something like that. It, it, it's looking at you almost like for approval. <laughs> I like tapping. Yeah, that sounds good. Ah, oh, your, your friend is dead. Hey, be back. The blister. This has beetles. happened before. <laughs> the blister beetles. I wonder if we can sleep in the pit. <laughs> oh, they're moving around. Okay, top of round one. Granite, dead. Krajan? Does he start disappearing? Uh, he's... Like, there's, I guess it, it, it would probably wait long enough for a breath of life. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's some sort of magical effect, but um, you notice that Krajan's watching Granite very closely. There's a twisted look on his face, like he's angry. Um, he's shooing the Sturges away. What? The ones that he has eat that have that have fed. Do I get the meat? Do I get the body or not? Oh, he's coming closer? Uh, he, he inches closer. He's, he's looking at granite and maybe he's commanding the, uh, the yeah. drippy acidic uh, beetles. Uh, Nils. Got a bug problem, Mills. You're hasted. First round of haste. You're also muted. I think if we deal with him, it will make it would get rid of all those guys. Or make them act erratic, at least. Get the bug, get the bug off me! And Nils is going to move up to this guy. Oh, he's going to switch weapons. Move yep. action. Yep. Blade and shield. He moves up to him. Yeah. Uh, with like a, is is there a bonus move? No, there's bonus movement. You have a bonus attack, and your move speed's higher. No, I'm just going to move him out of the way so I can see. Okay, so. Oops. Tell me when it's... Uh, so, is this normal? So, 5? 15? Uh, 25? 20. That's 30. This is 30. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which is well within one, one move with haste. 
He's Co- he's shorter than you. He's like only like a five and a half foot tall man. So then we're gonna so smooth to switch things. Move up to him. Like then I'm gonna have an attack. Meat or not. Then I get two attacks on this guy. At your highest attack bonus for both attacks. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Try to cut those oh, I think you off. get one you get one two weapon fighting attack if you're two weapon fighting, and then one just attack. If not, then I can feed on you multiple times. <laughs> uh I don't have I don't have a second weapon. Oh I have you don't one blade. Oh, thought you were a two weapon fighting build. Yeah, well I lost it in the first man first for uh, the first game. Yeah, the, rec- like, the record demon shattered it. <laughs> but you didn't, like, we got, like, daggers and stuff. Like, you you didn't... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, I have a, I have, I have a dagger. It's okay. Uh, I, like, I like the boost in, in armor. That's fine. Sword and board. Okay, AC 20. Uh, these guys are all touch. This is Dirges? Mm. Dirges are a problem. That's what uh, says, no, it only says scimitar and, and shield, so I'm taking scimitar and shield. Um, I see. on you multiple times. I'm not going to power attack. I'm just going to attack regularly. Plus one to hit from AC, from uh, haste. Yep. Um, if I'm standing on a thing, plus one from above. No, he's on the same rocks you are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A 50 for 50 percent chance I roll a two and a four. Screw you, Modron. Low level, low level characters, dude. Uh, the stag beetles. Oh no. <laughs> Where's it going? Uh, it's got lots it's of targets. So it's a big gonna... guy with a bunch of armor on. He certainly looks upset. And like he should be something yeah, that's and then there's a, there's a guy whipping off fire. He doesn't worry about that. Shim Shim didn't do much. He, He's the guy with a spoon. <laughs> magic spoon. We don't quite understand what he did. Although I'm a spellcaster, I might, I probably know. Yeah, I know what you just did. And then Urex gutted my bug. I ah, will roll a d4. One is Urex, two is. Chim Chim, then we'll go north from there. One or four. One or... Chim Chim. Chim Chim. <laughs> chim Chim, no! <laughs> Alright, so first thing, there's an AOO for Mickey Macer, and Urex says the bug is coming straight in. Oh, and it's with a flank, too. Lovely. Uh, yep. It would have happened here, so... Two's one to take it. Oh, uh, yeah. It, uh, who, in order of initiative, I think Urex goes first. No, uh, Mickey Macer goes first. Critical threat on mine. Icky Macer with his spear, I think, is plus two. So plus four with the flank. Does the thing lose an AC for charging? Or is, it, is it charging or moving? I think uh, it's, it's just moving. moving. Mm, okay. Uh, Icky Macer with his shield, or the spear, is plus two. Plus two from the flank from Urex for good positioning. He also hits, so with a spear, that's D8 plus uh, no strength, so D8. Uh, does six damage? Twenty twenty crit. So let's go for a basic crit here. My man, <laughs> Modron's like, uh, sorry, Mo- sorry, <laughs> Mod- <laughs> blowing you into next week. Twenty twenty, amazing. <laughs> okay, my man. Forty eight damage. Well, the, stag be- the stag beetle just gets gutted. <laughs> like he makes her crunches it a little bit, but Urex. Uh, <laughs> Its guts are kind of left behind. The thing comes plowing into the earth and kind of comes screeching 50, to a halt. 51 uh, with the bard song. Forgot the bard song. Uh, oh, right. yeah. Uh, plus another one for the bard song for yeah, yeah. Uh, Icky Macer. So 7 plus 49, 56 damage. Um, it is incapacitated. Uh, 56. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, it's incapacitated. Save or die. Save or die. Die, uh, die, die. You got 51. It was only no, 50. Oh, yeah. It's it 50, save or die. 
51, Adam rolled a 51, and then... Oh, I saw two more damage, 58. Uh, it, it, it did massive damage. And... Oh, it's fourth save. Your dice. Oh! Hey. <laughs> Actually, Chim Chim wasn't even looking. <laughs> it comes thundering. In. He smacks it, it with draws. a spoon. It, it, the end of the end of one of its mandibles like touches the end of your toe. <laughs> and he hits it with a spoon. <laughs> oh, Kimisa <laughs> looks at his spear, but then realizes that it was all. The other <laughs> half of the bug is completely gutted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Zilch is just covered in goo. <laughs> uh, hey, Julius. thanks for saving my guy. <laughs> Again. Stelios, you can see these beetles are all acting funny. And then what? Nils is attacking the wily looking bug man. I am smiting Bugman and going to Bugman and stabbing Bugman. Hey, when you when you use your holy smite, you notice that his tattoo brand like flares up like it's angry. Do any of you speak abyssal? Stelios uh. looking suspiciously. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, Nils might because he was going to go fight demons. Yep. Uh, Urex might because it is a language. No one draconic. Okay. Ah, you're one of them. Your bug holes aren't going to disease very well, are they? <laughs> uh, one second. Uh, I'm not a stoicoyo sas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure of it. <laughs> All right, so I hasted and I moved. Uh, I have an attack and then a haste attack. Yep, um, and your smite was a swift. Smite is. Yeah, oh, smite is you, have, you have three smite attacks. Is a swift. I have three attacks. Two, two, yeah, two at your highest and then uh, my smite. Yep. You move, okay. and then you've got your haste attack, your normal attack, and your secondary. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't omit it up. Don't, don't omit it up. Well, when I get to add my charisma, um, that, that does help. Um, not a uh, plus 11. Uh, plus 12 with Bart's on. <clears throat> Tippity-tap, tippity-tap. AC 26. Yeah, you stick your spear right into him. Ah! His flesh is weird. Uh, AC, not good. Would have been AC 29. It's like uh, part of his... like It's like his flesh is just like a, a shell, and it crunches in like an insect, and there's uh, like all sorts of goo and insects inside of him uh, that just kind of come pouring out. That's why you missed the second time. You're like, that's we need not... Fire. That's <laughs> not a hole there. And you're like, oh, well... <laughs> No, you have again. And then AC twenty five. So uh, two hits. Man. Two hits. Yep. Is he an undead? He is not undead. Okay. Is he uh, an evil outsider? Let me. Or a you, dragon. Give me a second. Or a bad guy. It's is he a bad it, guy. The spite damage changes based off of the, the responses. He's not a dragon. He's not undead. Okay. Uh, so it's not double he damage. Is, he, he, is, he is evil, though. Not evil type, but evil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the spike works. Yep. Uh, 23 damage. Is that all from the same? Uh, Did you add the, the, the uh, hope? Um, Hasten, Bartong? or Bartong's in there. Well. That's from two blows? Yep. I've I've still got my shield up. Is the thing, even though. I Do you shouldn't. bypass the the weird All DR the the DR All. five nothing? Okay, so. All DR. Yeah. <laughs> I pass this DR. Oh, 
Isn't my flesh wonderful? He's looking at the look of horror on your face. <laughs> evil die here. <laughs> They're just bugs and, and like cockroaches. He's like swinging the spear through. <laughs> yeah. Cockroaches spilling out of him. <laughs> I need a modern weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Icky Macer. I'll burn it with fire. Um, he comes up to Nils. Old still. <laughs> He's gonna use the produce flame to try to get the sturge. Just grab it. Just give it a grab. I think they're pretty easy to hit now because they're just on you. Uh, it's touch AC. Uh oh. Seeky Macer have precise shot. I think it takes a penalty for grappling, and it's a touch, so it's not it's not range because he's melee. Cause you oh yeah, you can just go up and touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch. <laughs> or he could throw a fireball right into the side of Mills' face. <laughs> I caught it! <laughs> he could uh, two face pills. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your face? My friends were, were helping me. My friends helped me. <laughs> Not 20 with the spell. Oh boy. Send that sturge to another dimension. Uh, it's touch AC is 16, and then when it's grappling, it loses like two. It's minus. It should be at least. It should be at least two. Yeah. Wait a second. The sturge loses a dexterity bonus. Has an AC of twelve. Uh, no, I've already added a bunch of bonuses. Not a crit. For five fire damage. Uh, this thing is in that impossible state. That never happens. If it tries to drink you. Did you time. add one from the bard song? Oh, uh, it's spell damage. The spell. Yeah. Um, he moved. It, oh, haste would add. He's not hasty. Uh, there he is. He's not hasty. No, no. Oh, yeah, Mills yeah. And, Two people. Mills and Stelios. We need, to, yeah. we need to find something we can kill that isn't just baby kobolds. <laughs> Like we could power level on Cobalt children, but that seems, you know, <laughs> not paladin. <laughs> All right, Icky like almost me. burned it completely off. Uh, Urex? Uh, hey, do you want to... You, if you eat that stitch, you can see how my friend tastes. <laughs> uh, we're going... I, I like bugs. Okay, we're going to basically... Double move. Okay, Zilch is coming with you. Yep. And so Urex is asking Zilch to attack the Sturge. Okay. Um, and then Urex is going to... That was a double move, so we're going to swing once at the horrible being. Ah, the birds. Mm. I know why there's lots of birds. You're not undead. Holy. Can you be critted? Uh, in his current form, yes. My man! Get him! Get Come him. on! The AC 15. No, he's uh, AC 20. Plus That's all right. the Plus the... All right, we can, bar we can, we can pull shit out here. <laughs> flank. <laughs> There's no flank, okay. Uh, no flank. From uh, below. 12 damage. Uh, does not pass DR, so... 7. Uh, yeah, seven. So, is that 30 damage? He is... He's bloodied. Not very nice visitors to the Temple of Jing, are you? Uh, the owlbear. There's a big squawk. It's scarier than you are. <laughs> you notice that some of the glow beetles on this side of the cavern are blinking uh, rapidly, particularly this one. Hopefully the, the owl bear will fight the blister beetles. Go fight the blister beetles. <laughs> All of our squishies are on one side. <laughs> Not good. Chim Chim. 
Jim 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 GTFO baby. Nowhere, nowhere safe. Oh, Granite's uh, riding around on the, on the stag beetle. It's on the horde. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's like pinned underneath it. I can move 30. Okay, I gotta move. Hold on. It's here. I'm move this guy <laughs> so I can see where the. Uh... So. It's just general difficult terrain. Um, you don't have to, like. Uh, so 15. 25. 25. And then he's going to take two actions to summon. Start summoning. Summoning is, you can't move if you summon. Or you five foot step and summon. It's a three, it's three, it's a full, it's a. Well, that's versus what it used to be, which is a one round. Where it's next round actions? it would pop up. Yeah. This system sped up summoning. It was a giant something buff. <laughs> okay, so why don't we do... Um... Hmm, damn it. Fuck. Okay. In that <laughs> case, we'll keep moving. Get to this side. That's 30. And he'll start summoning here. Please don't have a blast. Please don't have a blast. <laughs> Please let it be true. <laughs> Did, it's did, still on my neck, isn't it? <laughs> did Zilch not get a chance to go? Zilch is going last in the round. Oh, uh, can Chim Chim try to hit it? Chim Chim's got an action. Chim Chim can try to hit it. AC get 12, it. buddy. Come on, you, you can do it, it, bud. You need to do one uh, damage. Look, look. <laughs> I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, especially my own character. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a spoon in one hand. What do you have in your other hand there? Stick. A stick? Uh, okay. Let's take that master, let's take the masterwork side. So it's masterwork, yep. And then the bard song. Plus, uh, all, right, here, all right, here we go. So uh, combat, uh, yeah. Zilch. And he doesn't even have a combat. <laughs> Still sad. Okay. Good so, uh, of, what, one? Yeah. Uh, melee is minus three, plus the song is plus one. Oh, sorry, which is plus one. <laughs> and then that would be master, three masterwork. <laughs> It's another plus one, so we're at a minus one. Sweet. Uh, do you have a flank? No, Zilch is on on Uruk. Oh, Zil yeah, Zilch is. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it this way: unless your calm was odd, this doesn't actually reduce your. Yep. So you, point total, yeah. it drinks one more con from you. Get it off me. Ugh. Zilch's turn. Eat it, eat it. Get the taste of human blood. Get the taste of human blood. <laughs> Zilch is... Um... It's not cannibalistic if it's his turn. <laughs> I think it can attack... Like I think it threatens with its tail. Give me a second. I think they do. Um, let me, let me, they're, they're about the size of a cat, so they might not. That's fine. It's not taking AOs. Yep. It, it, Nils isn't taking AOs. Or if Nils takes an AOO, then Nils it's is fine. five feet with tail. Interesting. So, yeah, it, it is striking out with his tail, or her tail, um, with weapons. Didn't even check. I thought it was a boy. <laughs> yep. It's tail. Their tail. <laughs> it's the Sturge, AC 23. Stab. Nice. Now the damage is 1d3 minus 1 plus 1 bard song did 3 damage it was in that state but I don't know if it gets stuff from drinking I don't think no. it's an undead no it's not it just gets to feed so it's unconscious and then kind of falls off as you as you rip it off yourself. <clears throat> Get it! Good work. I don't know if I want to eat it. It's it's eating you. Rex is the kind of person. 
<laughs> he's like, all right, if you don't want to, you raise a good point. Because <laughs> Urex is over there contemplating if that counts as cannibalism if you eat sturges yes. and are filled Zilch, with the blood. Zilch doesn't seem just curling up her nose at uh, at uh, at the at the sturge. The sturge's proboscis is broken off. You can see blood still sort of like spurting out of it a little bit, and it's still latched onto your shoulder. Uh, but it is clearly dead. Uh, the blister beetles are all bunching up. Let's start yelling, Kabe, do we have to move? <laughs> uh, granite is dead. Krajan. You might come back because you're Blessed visitor, some of us do not have that luxury. <sighs> he five foot steps away. He then Amatesto Acosta Sas <laughs> He then almost like reaches into his own chest and pulls his body open. From neck to navel, he like almost unzips himself as thousands of insects of all creepy crawly variety burst forth from his body, Ew. and his flesh quickly disappears like the insects are eating him. It's a full round action. <laughs> I think it's a standard. But... It's free. <laughs> God damn it. He'll turn into scorpions. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah! Some of them are fluttering away. Uh, for this round, there is a swarm of tiny insects. That's a problem. Mills. Do we have torches? Do we have torches? There are torches. We on do have torches. Things. But they're not uh, lit. It, Zilch was talking about running away. No, he, he, he's running away. He's running away. Yeah. Okay, Nils. Uh, well, how long does it take to turn a, to uh, light a torch? Action to get it in hand. Action to light the torch. Five foot step and attack. Yeah. Five foot step attack attack. Two attacks. Action, <laughs> action, step, go. Your haste is your haste still. Power attack! <laughs> One damage! One damage! Yeah, anything really, right? You're just thrusting the torch into the into the mass of the swarm? Yeah. Oh. Um really I uh, don't have much. Uh does power attack even work with this? I don't think I know enough about it. Knowledge Dungeoneering, maybe? Let's see if I even have that. Are you stopping anything? No, or screw that. No, you, I'm not. Are you madly attacking yeah. the, horror. <laughs> the horror that you've just encountered? Yeah. Ah! Plus 9, plus 10, plus, uh, plus 10. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Twenty-eight and twenty-one. Two hits. Uh, the torch does a d6 fire. All right, I'll do one d6. You, you, pound, you pounding the the club as hard as you are into it doesn't do any damage. It's just the fire. It's just the fire. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do two d6 then. You know a guy who likes fire. Me to separate it. Nope. But just the fire. Just the d6. Five damage. Five damage. Is it? Uh, is it? Is it seven? Oh, uh, no, it's oh, not. Bart any doesn't, Bart no, it, it's the it being a bigger nut die is the bonus. Mm. That's supposed to be like one damage for torch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're burning insects, but the insects are also trying to crawl away and go under the carpets of uh, of um, 
uh, fungus and things that are on the ground. It looks like they're trying to disappear. It, it's horrible. It is. It is a mess. Uh, stag beetles are all dead or dying. Stelios. Uh, <laughs> Stelios, not a bright man, but sees torch working on thing. <laughs> so we do the same thing. <laughs> Five foot step. Take the torch from me and attack with it. <laughs> Uh, I, I would need to take an action. To... Five foot step, take an action, take my torch, drop your spear. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll, well, it's, yeah, I don't have to light it. Okay, I'll, I will take Nils's torch. Okay, you're um, like, ah! <laughs> you drop your spear? You drop Save your yourself spear. an action. I'll or drop my spear. actioning, putting it away? No, I'm dropping my spear. Okay. Clang, clang. Clings in the rocks and it, 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 it is literally a ah. nice pointy stick. So, yep. <laughs> we start... Bap it away. Um, so we're three attack. Well, three attacks. Yeah. Uh, and I guess they're touch attacks because I don't have to hit its AC. Mm -hmm. Although it's swarm, so I don't like its touch AC is like it, whatever. Uh, uh, six. Paste. AC sixteen. Hit. AC eight. This gets his other natural one. Her. AC 16 would have hit. Yep. Uh, and then the, the AC 12. Haste? You've got haste and bard song in there? I've got haste. I, I carry a tower shield because I have a shitty tower shield. <laughs> okay, so it's touch AC. It's 13. I'm pasting it. <laughs> <laughs> I oh no uh smite smite I had five to all those yeah you hit all you hit twice I hit twice also do I add my paladin smite damage to the fire damage sure yeah your fire is like it, the, the the torch is burning with holy energy remember oh. you, know, you you followed paladins into the world wound and then they yeah. died and you were trapped there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a paladin again. You recognize this. He 13 torch, damage. He turns your torch into holy energy. 13 damage. Bypassing old DR. Somehow the insects are screaming. The, the, the swarm, there's only a little bits of it left. Icky Macer. Yeah. There, there are problems behind us. Wait, aren't you supposed to add five to all of that? Five each? Yeah, it's no. level. My level. Oh. I had my charisma to hit. Thank you. Uh, Ikimaxi is going to lob one of the fiery things at the blister beetle. Or, or, or yeah, maybe the mean... scorpion swarm. <laughs> it's the, they'll go back to being stupid and kill them. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> You're like, all right, fine. He will. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. No. Aim at the swarm. <laughs> Silly youngin. Stopping him with the spoon. Okay. The right. swarm, right. the swarm. The swarm, the swarm. All right. Plus Getting two, plus one. Made a spoon. And and don't move. <laughs> <laughs> Roll one. Oh, you Roll. missed by one. Range uh, plus two. And then. Bart. You don't have my blank shot. Oh. He's got elemental boost, spell focus, evocation, eschew materials, and saving shield. So, nope. Uh, Bar uh, Bard Song's in there. Yeah. All right, he missed. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to... Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself? <laughs> he's, he's moving back. I'll move back behind Jim Jim. If I die, it's on you. Man. <laughs> the haunty voice. That's so... Urex, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good stuff. You got this cat, this cat-like dragon on your back. Okay. Um, Urex is going to. Draw a torch, light a torch, swing a torch. Okay. Um, that or I could acid splash, but the torch does more damage than the acid splash. So I think we draw a torch, light a torch, swing a torch. Um, or move up to us, grab one. 
uh, I, you know what? I, I, it's a good idea. Urex is going to move past, also <laughs> not being close to the things that are charging us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Take the take the torch from Stelios. Okay, give me that. And the holy fire dims down to me like no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. You offer you pray.